Welcome, music lovers and curious minds. It's your girl Desiree, and I'm back with another reaction. Today, we are going to be reacting to Ice Cube's cryptic message. He might be hinting on what's really going on with Jamie Foxx. So you don't want to miss out on this video. And also, please be sure to watch through the whole video. So at the end, you can hear my opinions and you can see what other viewers had to say as well. Yo, what's cracking? You know what it is. It's your homeboy Ice Cube. It's good, Ice Cube. Um, and some of you may not have realized um, that I'm not part of the club. And a lot of you listening to me right here, right now, you're not part of the club either. And what I realized with the club is what makes them so mad is when you don't want to be a part of their fucking club. Facts. That pisses them off. What club am I talking about? I'm talking about the club of gatekeepers that we all got to deal with. Is Ice Cube telling us exactly what happened to Jamie Foxx? Now, Jamie Foxx still has not been seen in public since March. He had a medical complication soon after his onset meltdown during the production of his newest movie with Cameron Diaz back in action. Now, rumor is he was forced to get the jab or the poke in order to continue working on the movie. After it came out, he wasn't jabbed up. While being pressured into getting the jab, he went ballistic because he absolutely did not want to get the poke. And it looks like one of those who forced him to get the jab was Cameron Diaz. Because now she's shocked and saddened as to what happened, she tried reaching out to the family. This is someone who is really close to Jamie Foxx and his family, and they are not answering her phone calls. So is it possible she was one of the ones to force him to get the poke in order to continue working? Something bad happened, and now the family are also blaming her. Now, what that something bad was is that it's rumored he developed a blood clot to the brain to where he's now paralyzed and blind. Now, look, I do want to make it clear. I am not telling anyone not to get the jab or the poke. I would never tell anybody what's best for their own health. If you feel like the jab or the poke worked out for you and your family, that is wonderful. That's great. More power to you. But on the flip of everything, we should not be forcing it on people. And by forcing Facts. it, I mean by telling people, if you do not get it, you're going to lose your job. You're going to lose your career. Crazy. Really armstronging people into getting the poke. And I'm sure Jamie Foxx was told, if you do not get the poke, you're going to be blacklisted from Hollywood. We're going to listen to what Ice Cube has to say to Joe Rogan because it's very interesting. It sounds like the same thing that Jamie Foxx went through when it came to his movie, that he was being told he had to get the jab. They are also going to say something during this interview that I found very interesting, that flicked on a switch in my brain about Jamie Foxx's family and why they are not talking. Is Jamie Foxx's family filing a lawsuit against the set, enforcing him in getting the jab, and they cannot say much? All they can say is, everything is fine, but in the background of it all, everything is not fine and the family is proceeding with a lawsuit. But I'm going to go ahead and play the interview between Joe Rogan and Ice Cube. It's very hey. interesting. Doing I, I movie, saw that uh, you would, you'd have to pass out a movie because they wanted you to get shot. Yeah. You know, they uh strangest thing, you know. Say, we're doing a movie, we're doing a movie. Um, I'm like, okay. And then... um. All the producers in Hollywood decided that <clears throat> they don't want anybody on their movie set that haven't gotten a vaccine. And what year was this? This is 2020. Okay. So it's in the middle of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're coming out of it. Um, I think it might be 21 when we know, okay, everything is going back to normal. But it the, the, the I, I believe the news came out. Um, during 2020. And so, you know, I never thought it was a producer's mandate. You know, I thought it was a studio mandate. But I think the studios really, 
wanted to have, you know, kind of a little out. So they put it on a producer. Like, this is not us. This is mm-hmm. this production, that production, this production, that production. I'm like, but it, it's every production. So you mean tell me every producer in Hollywood has this mandate? Give me a break. <laughs> It has to come from the studio to hit every producer because every producer don't think the same. Like right. every right. some producers, you know, um, had their own different opinions. So anyway, it was a studio mandate. They put it on individual producers. So producers talking to my people, and they're like, if he don't take it, you know, we, we, he can't be in the movie. It's like it's not taking it. It's not taking it. It's like okay, can't do the movie. Okay, no problem. Now, I didn't go out telling everybody what happened. I didn't um, um, put the word out that I didn't even tell people that I wasn't vaccinated. I didn't tell people not to go get vaccinated. I didn't tell people that I'm not doing this movie because I don't want to be vaccinated. Uh, But somehow, some way, the news hit the, you know, I don't know if Hollywood Reporter or somebody put it out that this is why cube is not doing the movie and i thought it was chicken shit thought it was you know um it's like what happened to the hippo laws you know or, or osha one of them <laughs> i forgot i think it's hippo you know where you're not supposed to to reveal a person's medical status and here it is they print in mine um and so i just thought it was bullshit and um and it just kind of snowball, you know, I'm like, what they want is for people to tell me I'm stupid. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They exactly. want people to tell me you turn in nine, you turn it down $9 million. You stupid. You know, I'll do anything for $9 million. How stupid can Q be? Um, and I don't care about that. You know, it's million. like, I didn't lose $9 million. Cause I never had it. Like if you never have some shit, you don't, you can't lose it. Okay. You lose it when it's in your bank account. Then you look I up and it's gone. That. You know what I'm saying? But that. if you never had it, I didn't lose it. It just was never given to me. And so, right. you know, they, they tried to, you know, put my business in the street, put pressure on me, everybody around me, telling me how stupid I am. So I can go get vaxxed and say, you know, please let me do the movie. You know, that was never going to happen. I don't care if it was 20 million. Oh, um, that was never going to happen. And if you got injured from that vaccine, you would have paid that 20 million to be healthy again. Damn right. Damn right. Yeah. Damn right. There's a lot of people out there that wish they they weren't forced into making that decision. And that's where the real lawsuits are going to come from. The real lawsuits, since you can't sue the vaccine companies, they're going to start suing these businesses. And they're already lining up. Without a doubt. Without a doubt, it was a gigantic error. And and they're, you know, they they fired a lot of people. You know, I think they fired a lot of um, cops in New York. And they had to hire them back and give them back pay. Give them back pay. But what about the ones that were injured that took the vax? Yeah, you know, they gotta have some kind of repercussion because, you know, they they just proved that. They just kind of told on themselves that we got this wrong. Yeah. And nobody and wants to talk about it. That's the crazy thing. Because all the news Nobody stories, can. Yeah. It, you know, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. The, the gatekeepers. Uh-huh. Nobody can talk about it because somebody above them told them no. Now, mm-hmm. Ice Cube is saying that he turned down the job that he was forced to get in order to be a part of this movie. He turned down the movie and it circulated in Hollywood that he's not jabbed pretty much making him blacklisted in Hollywood. Now, Ice Cube can afford to turn down a movie. He's a director, so even though he may not be a part of movies, he can direct his own movies. Just like Mel Gibson, who's blacklisted in Hollywood, he is directing his own movies. He doesn't have to be a part of anybody's movies. Jamie Foxx cannot afford to do so. Jamie Foxx is not a director. He's an actor. Was Jamie Foxx told, you have to get the jab? Jamie Foxx is turning down the movie, but he was told, if you turn down this movie, you will never work in Hollywood again. You will never be an actor in Hollywood. It will come out that you are not jabbed. Now, what's even more interesting, it came out two days ago that there's construction and renovations being done 
on Jamie Foxx's mansion. Are these renovations being done to assist him in getting around his mansion because he is indeed blind and paralyzed? Now he doesn't have to be fully paralyzed, he could be paralyzed from the waist down. The part of the brain that suffered controls his ability to walk. Now he needs a wheelchair and his mansion needs to be wheelchair accessible. This is very scary. Now what do you believe? Do you believe he's recovering, that he's going to get well soon and continue the movies? Or do you believe that Ice Cube is hinting something here, that he did get the jab and now he did suffer a major medical condition, it's possibly a, a possibility. blood clot, due to getting the jab and now his life is changed forever? See, my whole thing is, like, if Jamie Foxx had a heart attack, let's say, or a stroke, or, you know, something like that, why wouldn't his family just come out and say that? The fact that they're keeping silent and they're not letting, you know, his fans know what is really going on with him. It makes you wonder, like, what is really going on? Like, what is the big secret? Like, Jamie Foxx is a well-known actor, entertainer. Like, he's loved by millions of people. And you are not going to tell people what is going on with him? Obviously, it has to be something serious. And I'm going to be honest, the vaccine, it makes sense. because. That's something that they wouldn't be able to just come out and say, right? Because the government and, you know, the elites, the people who run the world, they're going to shut that down. They're going to make sure they don't speak on it. Like, it has to be something serious. It has to be something that they don't want the public to know, obviously. But it's like, for how much longer are y'all going to be silent about what's going on with Jamie Foxx? But Jamie Foxx is in my prayers, and I hope he recovers, and I hope to see him, you know, in movies or whatever, back on his feet. Hopefully, he's not paralyzed or blind, and let's just keep Jamie Foxx in our prayers, and let's see what some viewers had to say in the comments. One viewer said, may God protect Ice Cube and continue to bless him and his family always and forever. Another viewer said, majority of America and the world is with Cube. Only ones calling people dumb should be those who refuse towards those that blindly complied. Another viewer said, Ice Cube is the real deal. Calls it how he sees it. Always has, always will. Serious prayers for Jamie. He's a good actor I follow since his In Living Color days. This has clearly become a mess for him, his family, fans, and friends. Another viewer said, Ice Cube knows all about the lethal injection. Big respect to Cube for standing his ground. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so YouTube can push my content through its algorithm. Comment your thoughts and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.